Okay, what is up, Michael? What is up, the Troll Army? This is your boy, Charles Troll, right here, coming at you with another gameplay for my friend Oreo X Gamer. And I have another commentary, and we do have another Black Ops 2 to talk about. And this is going to be about my opinions on the new Nuketown 2025 trailer and how it was made, how the heck they get the stuff out, all that stuff. Why don't we begin with the commentary? And I think my friend goes like 40 something, I forgot. Alright, so first of all, I did see the Nuketown 2025 gameplay. And it was alright, it was uh, almost amazing. It's so amazing. Like, it, re it reminds me of the old Black Ops 2 Nuketown, 20 I mean, the Nuketown map. They, the all, it was all crazy. Like, I can experience it. And, Benson, no, let me just add a note. Like, at the end of the trailer, on that when it showed up Activision, it reminded me of hearing like one of those songs from. It reminded me of hearing one of those songs from Mario, from the Mario game. You know what I mean? From Nintendo, like it made a sound where it reminded me like I don't know how that I should put it, but for instance, like it was like, but like yeah, I was trying. I forgot what I was I'm supposed to say. But it, it just sounded weird because normally I never seen Call of Duty trailer that does that or any other trailer that would do that. But it just sound, but it just looked a little bit funny and looked a little bit exciting because like it shows a TV show with Activision trailer a little bit. I mean the Activision TV. So it's gonna call like a Nintendo, Nintendo feature. So anyway, back to the map. The map, how the heck it was designed. It has the same close combat, well, close to medium co quarters combat, and what the heck is this supposed to be? Yeah, it's the same thing. It's supposed to have the same thing, but they should have like a lot of changes and more features. So let me just try to be try to talk about. It. So you got more people coming at you with a different assault rifles. You have people with an MP7, and you have like multiple kills which I I couldn't even explain, but there was one that reminded me like something I can't even. I can't. Even, I forgot, forgot the name, but there was also one like the lightning strike. There was even one with the the hellstorm missile. Even I know that. And like I said, it's pretty amazing. Might want to try it. Might want to get double XP. Might be able to get. It. So, how did Call of Duty design the Hotel 2025 map? They did a lot of changes. So the houses they seen in Black Ops, they have changed. So. They edited the houses, you know, it's a little bit hard for me to talk about the trailer on me, but they changed the houses, they remodeled them for some reason, it does, but it looks a little, bit, a little bit more colorful, if you know what I mean, I don't want to be gay, but it does look a little bit more colorful, it makes it more different, and well, it kind of looks alright, so that's a little bit about it, now, Nuketown, Nuketown place, it never, now, usually it will say Nuketown, at the back, but they rearranged the Nuketown sign, and they put it like in front, like in the back where you see the cars at. But now they, so I think it's looking all right. It looks okay. I mean, that's just really exciting for y'all. And the mobile homes, they look mad different. They, they seriously put them at the same place, but I, I don't see what the heck they put, what put them there for. But instead of homes, they put as cars. So. I have no clue. So there we go. Now another thing. Why would I don't think they have the man? Why would you still have mannequins on there? I still don't know why. I mean, it makes it a little bit confusing if people want to see mannequins still on there. That's just. I don't think it's a really good idea. It might get people confused. It might get players confused and stuff. But that. But how to go out? How we react to this one? It's close and close to medium range combat. So in other words, it'll be part really. Tr it might be tricky. I would use MV7 or anything to get a hold of that, but that's me. So there you go. So I have to stop for a second because I have to get something to drink. Okay, there you go. So now we want now. How the heck do you have to deal with a lot of stuff? Of around Nuketown 2025. That's really crazy. I mean, I really want to see that. <sighs> so, like I said, mobile homes is like a so good idea. Like the same thing. 
And here's another thing. Like, the cars always start to blow up. So, I'm, there goes me doing, doing, what is it? Rambling. But I'm not trying to ramble. But I'm just trying to get my opinions. If I do bad, then screw me. But, like I said, you have kill streets that will do the same thing, like, in Black Ops. For instance, the... Uh, I forgot one of them. But, if it was, like, the same thing as a self armor or a rolling thunder, then it will do the same thing. I'm not even kidding. Now... Let me give you another opinion about what weapon will I use on the Nuketown 2025 map. Now, I had the weapons in in Battle for 3. There was a PDW. So I will use either the PDW or the MP7. And here's another note why I was still going on the, on the track. I mean the track the trailer. The truck I meant I meant to say. So and the rooms here goes here we go the rooms on there it look mad futuristic because if you can go if you went on the 2025 you probably see the rooms it'll look mad different because it'll be more colorful and you, you like i said it'll be have more futures into it there's even more future if you have like ground controlled ground control kill streaks for example if you use the ATR, you probably might get you might will get them at a good range you probably will get them like the same out black out sewer. Well, not exactly like the RTXC, but if you, if you trap them in one, if you go on domination, you probably will trap them using our AGR around A or B or C or B. Depends on your back, where back side of the map you are or on B. So it depends on where you are. And they also included that, what do you call it? The nuke. A nuke feature where you were at the end of the game, the nuke goes off. So. That's just usual. I, I I do like it, but I really I really getting used of it. I I've been getting used of it, all right. And also the stairs. It looks like I if I were going on stairs, so I would do the same thing like in Black Ops Two. I mean Black Ops One, but the stairs, the room, they had designed it in a different way. It's all arranged and arranged a little bit bigger, a little bit like ten percent bigger. So the diagram of this was it this map excuse me okay this map the diagram of this map was like I don't know 10 to 20 percent a little bit bigger because the way how they designed it they had it had a new they had I had the same old trucks the tracker trucks I, I don't know if they saw Adam Americans I think they did I kind of forgot again and the rooms like they might might increase the rooms, even the back sides of the grass where you got where you spawn at the like around the back fence. You can where you spawn at back fence, and it's, it probably will be more better too. So, there we go. New time 2025, there's your thing. Now, for me, my another opinion about what will I use and what tactics will I use in Nuketown 2025. The same tactics. I would just use an assault rifle. Now, for instance, if I do use an assault rifle, I would have to rush, but I would have to stay in two spots. So, not camping, but one spot to another spot. But I would have to go from left to right. I would have to be around B or C or A or B. So, if you know what I mean. So, I would have to be like a little bit protected. I can aim at long range sights, but you're doing medium range sights if you're. If you're trying to get a close range, if you're trying to get a medium range kill, or if you're trying to go for like more kills, but uh, that's just me. Now, if I'm using an MP7, I'll have to use it wisely because you, I'll be rushing with it, probably rushing with it. But a lot of people will be rushing in Town, but in 2025, it'll be mad, way different. Because, like I said, if you rush in, you probably will go to room to room. And besides, everyone's going to say it's almost the exact same thing. But I'll be saying it's a little bit more bigger. And because that, you're dealing with, you got the sign out in place. And you also have, well, and you also have the difference between the, the regular version and the near future version of Nuketown. So, would you, what would that, what the heck would I give the Rain Out of Nuketown 2025? Now, if I look at the trailer again, you probably probably notice that you you seen a lot of stuff happening, even where you have a light machine gun, assault rifle, SMG, and you have multiple kill streaks that you can use on here. So, there, so I would give it like the same as Nuketown, the regular Nuketown. It'd probably be like an eight, as a matter of fact, eight point five, 
Because if you use like one of those kill streaks where you just completely wipe the team out, like whoever's in the middle, middle of the map, then you know, then you probably know what that probably know what that I'm talking about. All right, so there you go. So I know this video has to be really, really wrong. I'm sorry about that. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure I'm talking about the out. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you did enjoy the video, if you did like my opinions about it. Leave a comment below. If you did like the stuff that's been going on about my voice, give a leave, leave a video video a like. Excuse me. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Sorry I'm screwing up my voice because I've been sleeping a lot. My fault. And I'll see you guys next time. All right. All right. So as you know, toss out.